What is up, Teachers on Fire? Are you receiving too many notifications from Google Classroom, but you don't want to get rid of all of them? I'm going to show you how to adjust those notification settings. Let's jump into it. So our first stop obviously is Google Classroom and your screen should look something like this, classroom.google.com or find it in the waffle of Google Workspace icons. So here you are, you're going to hit these three bars and that opens up a number of options. You can go to different Google Classrooms, but we want to go right down to the very bottom where it says settings. Now, right away, you can see notifications. You can turn the, the master switch off, but you probably don't want to do that for reasons we'll talk about here. Some of these settings you want to keep on. I like to have comments on my posts, comments that mention me, private comments on work. Private comments are one of the most essential pathways of communication between student and teacher. So I would not be quick to turn that one off. In fact, I would say it's really best practice to keep it on. Classes you're enrolled in is not something that's actually for you. Classes you are personally enrolled in. So for many teachers, this would not apply at all. And then classes that you teach, you can keep these on or off. I don't really care about late submissions of work, but resubmissions, I that means a student intends for me to look at an activity or an assignment again. And so I like to know about that. Invitations to co-teach, scheduled post publisher failed. But then down here is the magic. Now, I don't know why this isn't uh, expanded automatically, but it isn't. It's collapsed, and so you need to expand it. And here's where you can turn notifications on or off based on the individual classroom. You can see I've got quite a few classrooms going on. Some of them I've turned off, but the key is sometimes you want to be a part of a classroom. You want to be able to pop in or repost something or just look at what another teacher or a teammate is doing, but they're not your students, not really. And so for that kind of a class, you want to keep notifications off. Uh, but if it is your class, you want to be really careful with that because, again, if a student is reaching out to you to communicate, then you need to know about that. All of those settings are available right there in the Google Classroom settings. I hope that helps you and uh, allows you to get out from maybe that flurry of notifications that you've been drowning in. If there's anything else I can do to help, please leave a comment in the video or below the video. And as always, take care, share an encouraging message to lift up a colleague and keep that fire for learning burning bright.